Hi, welcome to Easy Rider. Hope everybody's feeling good and enjoying life. Going on another adventure today. So please, like, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit the notification bell so I can make more videos for more people. and these repairs that aren't flush with the road. Bouncing up and down is not fun for me on, with my back, it hurts. Nope, mirror's all messed up. to go over this one. I used to go to the side, but with all those mud puddle potholes and all that mud, my front wheel slipped the other day, so I'm not doing that until that's all dried out. But I managed to keep it from going down. Well, it's another beautiful day. About 58. I think they said it was going to be 55. I think my thermometer said 58. of March and April here. Sometimes it's just out and out windy. Whenever there's a storm up north, it's always windy here. It won't be long before these tar snakes will be getting soft and I'll have to worry about them. And here's Iron Springs Road. known as Jurassic Park over there to the right <laughs> because of all those dinosaur sculptures. That's a private residence but at least several years ago, 10, 12 years ago when they first put them in there, they would let groups of people come in and look. I know the hiking group 
where I live went over there in about 2008, maybe, maybe 2007, and walked through that property. They were, they got permission. Williamson Valley Road, which we've been on many times. bedroom in the cabinet but my wife had Costco still has toilet 
paper, but I'm not a member, but maybe I'll have to join just to get some toilet paper. I don't like paying for memberships. I used to belong to Costco a long time ago when they took my Discover card, but then when they quit taking that, I joined Sam's Club because they took any credit card. For a while they were only taking American Express and I don't have an American Express and have no desire to get one. Now they say they take Visa and of course I got that. But I'd like to use any credit card. Can't use cash there. <laughs> You have to buy so much stuff. Everything, it's always over a hundred bucks by the time you get out of there. There's Granite Mountain again. A little church. West Side Christian Church. Okay, I'm back. Now this is grassland. I mean, there's trees here, but most of these trees have been planted <coughs> by the property owners over the years. There were juniper trees out here at one time, but they were all cut down long, long time ago by the Fane Ranch for, for firewood and to make grazing areas for their cattle. This is the east side of Chino Valley. It's not, not as nice as the west side, but I haven't been over here, made a video over on this side before, so that's what I'm doing today. But anyway, we went through the forest, then the chaparral and scrub growth, and now the grasslands. All this within 20 minutes of my house. There's an old house there. Been there for a long time. <clears throat> Somebody's got a big paddock there. I don't know if they have horses, but <laughs> that's what that's for. There used to be farms out here too, but I don't think there's any farms out here anymore. The grocery stores here used to sell stuff from the farms that was grown right here. Some of the grass is green. Some of it's still all dormant looking like that field right there, but we just had so much rain in the last two and a half weeks, I, I'm surprised it's not really green out here. And we had snow too, that might be why some of it is still that dormant gray looking color because <clears throat> it is still pretty cold overnight I don't come back this way a lot 
when we first moved here, my wife kind of wanted to live out here, and we were, we looked at, we couldn't afford anything on the west side that was out of our price range. The only thing we could, places we could afford was back here on the east side of Chino Valley, but I just thought it was too remote, too far to go to get something to eat when you were hungry or go to the movie or something. But she would have liked to have lived out here on acreage. I just thought it, we, we had a quarter of an acre in Prescott Valley and I thought that was plenty of ground to take care of. gas out here now it was all propane that was another thing I wasn't real excited about although the first house we got in Prescott Valley was on propane too but I knew they were putting the gas in very shortly so I wasn't too worried about that be opposed to electric heat now and all my cooking stoves were electric anyway after moving over here even though we had gas the cook, cooking was all electric I'd rather have gas cooking but I wasn't gonna buy a new stove now we're at road one north They're the ones they call modular, where they're actually they're still mobile homes, but they set them down real close to the ground instead of being up high. I guess they dig underneath of them. I smell that smell. I don't know what it is. It's some kind of herb. <clears throat> and sometimes I have smelled it on the uh, salad bars. Oh, that's the school that has solar on their covered parking. School's not in session. I shouldn't have to do the 15 miles an hour anymore right now. Schools are closed until the 1st of April. There's a cell tower that wasn't there the last time I was out here. Perkins 
Knoxville Road. I went farther north than I thought.